I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous today. I've been away a few days. I'm not sure what's going on around here. We better go find out. Before we go in, we can kind of check things out here because I have been gone and it has gotten wildly warm. And so now we have a lot of water and a lot of mud, which is fun, but it doesn't look like anybody got stuck. So maybe the frost is out a little more than it was so far. Let's go, oh, wait, look at this. There's no tarp here anymore. This was all tarped in. There was a heater here. I just realized that's gone too. I guess, and they're right, is there's not a lot of talk about things freezing up very much anymore. So we've got that now and opened up. And look at this space now. Whew, here I was a little nervous, but look at all of this. All tidied up. We've got actually, like this is going to be an electrical room. Oh wait, we've got conduit. I did say that the electricians were coming in and they were going to get to work and look at that we've got where our mains going to come in we've got some power to i have no idea what they're planning over there but there's power to it oh man they actually got a lot of conduit in with some notes cool i have no idea what it means but anyway that's okay because We've got progress. They must have done a lot of digging and drilling. Holy crap, that's just in like two days of them doing this is all of this is dug. And I know the Mini X could have gotten in a few places, but I know it couldn't get everywhere. So there would be some hand shoveling too. But the fact that they got that all like that looks, that is very cool to have that. <laughs> rooms like last week these were already in place the difference the big difference is the supports that were holding them up kind of ahead of getting them poured um, are gone they obviously took them all away and now these are filled with cement so they really aren't going anywhere anytime soon uh, what they have done obviously is they have now started to run some conduit and we've got some big piping through here to get into the other room um, one of the things, this was a conversation that when I was out west doing a workshop um, is they called to talk about this because one of the changes we'll say that has happened over the last couple of weeks is we have dealt with and purchased the robots from a place called Laley Center Woodstock. Laley Center Woodstock doesn't exist anymore. Um, they have been split up, bought up, I don't know what the word for it, doesn't matter, um, is we now deal with Laley Center Avonbank. Um, and so, not that you know anything changes too dramatically, I don't think it'll have a huge impact on it, but there are a couple of things that Laley Center Avonbank does that the plans didn't. And one of this is this big, um, you know, six inch, conduit it looks more like a drain but what it does is it connects so everything basically that this robot needs from the control that's going to be in this robot room um, is going to be fed through here so that just kind of tidies it up and then they can just run their cabling and wiring and communication lines and all that so that's really the only update but to see that in place is very nice to see um, and and obviously means a lot of progress and then we've got a ceiling in what do we call that? A quarter of the barn? My goodness, like when you look at that, there is a lot of ceiling in this barn. Not that I didn't know that, but when you see it and the progress they've made, you can tell they've got some stuff to do still. But obviously, I didn't need to be so nervous about what happened over the last three days while I was at West. I can feel pretty confident that 
a little bit of planning and these crews working together and we're in pretty good shape. How do you get hope? There it goes. I think there's a lot of water underneath that. It's a solid layer of ice on top, but yeah, look at it go down. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need it to do. All the way to the bottom. There. At the bottom. Now, this is full. There's enough ice in there. I, I want to get that cleaned up, but I really don't trust this sheet of ice just yet. So we're not gonna walk on that. We can clean it up when there's a lot less water in it. He's decided this pump is a very nice home to live. Hey, buddy. Is Muskrat a one with a big, long, rat-like tail? I don't know. He's hanging out in there. And I don't know what you do to get him out. We'll keep this nice board here, and we will hope can use it as a way out. Because I don't know if you can get one out. Good luck, buddy. Don't, don't stay too long. Now, we're going to try not to fall off this ledge while that water pumps. Because as you can see here, we've got, what do they call it? The bird screen. The bird screen that is in between, you know, the posts and the curtains has this gap like there's two pieces to it top and bottom um, and what we've got to do or what's got to be done at some point is like zip tie it together because obviously there are going to be birds that find this when the curtain is open so while that runs we're going to do a little bit of acrobatics and tie it in like this and then Hopefully that closes it up. At least put her away for at it for a little while. I, I did check to see if one of the lifts had a key in it. They did not forget to leave a key in it. Shots. Mm. I've got what five, six chunks done out of well, quite a few more. Every once in a while I gotta step down and just look at something that isn't like black to translucent. I'm not gonna lie, staring at that for a while kind of makes your eyes go buggy. Whew. Well, in the meantime, we'll look at something brighter. Dads, 
uh, wetsuit. He's pressure washing. How's he getting on? about a change of scenery around here I laugh every time that I think about how perfectly graded this whole barn was when Calvin left back in I don't know when was that first of December kind of left it and then just over time we keep digging more and more stuff out and but it's a really good sign so as you can see drain lines are now in here so they've got all the drains connected to um, the main drain that they had when they were digging. Justin and his guys were digging, what was that, a couple of weeks ago they were doing that? And now they've run all these drains and it goes into, as you can see, got this redug. Let's go in here. So this was that drain that popped out. Um, or the, you know, some pole, whatever you want to call it. It was the thing that had popped out when the frost first came out. So it got re-put in today, which is a very nice thing to have done. And then, um, you know, now all the drains are connected to it. So the idea is, and you can see this black gray pipe here, is there'll be a pump that sits on here and it'll pump the water um, and, and take it that way. Or there'll be another one that comes back to take it that way. So that's kind of the idea, I think, that is the plan. So between that and running some water lines up in there, the plumbers were busy at work um, today. Framers, as per usual, have been steady. Um, the ceiling, all done. And then the roof over the robot rooms, which is gonna be nice. So there's just kind of a little overhang. We'll put lights in there and those lights will be able to be run like 24 seven. So basically this is the only lights that'll be on in the whole barn at night, but it'll still provide a little bit of light for down here in the robots for any cows that are using it. Um, and so that's, looks awfully tidy to have that. And then <laughs> poor Greg, he's been working at like sealing up every post, every um, like attic cover, every, everything he's been just working at silicone and trim and all that kind of stuff. So that was a steady one. And then uh, Jake and Marshall, two of the electricians, they were here and they, you know, I laughed, they ran the Mini X for most of the day, um, but then are, are, are getting their kind of conduit lined up and ready so that it can connect into everything. So like you look around here and you get a day where I don't know, what were there, 15, 17 people here today, I think, working? Um, it makes for a very busy environment. Let's slip in here um, to be able to do it. And down here, oh, it like takes the echo right out with this insulation. This is very cool. But we've got our internet, our power. So we've got workspaces here. We've got water lines for, um, well, that one actually supposed to be on the other side, but ha, that's a problem to solve a different day. Um, and then, you know, one here for a counter, like it just is all tucked in really, really nicely in here. So, and it was awesome that um, Jeff came yesterday, kind of last minute. I do that a lot, get some last minute calls made where um, they're going to frame this in in the next little bit. Could you please run your internet cables? And he was awesome to do it. <laughs>